okay how to get a little drink um, <clears throat> okay um, I'm gonna highlight props and I'm gonna say I want to new I want to create a new prop I hit new and now there's a little window that pops up and first of all we start with the name and say okay we're gonna do a table this is the first prop and I'm gonna start with an empty asset um, So, and now let's see what what got written into the file structure. Okay, this is a, basically a new um, a new sub project. It's called table, and um, now I uh, I double click on the table, and I get asked if I want to create a new scene or if I want to use the current scene. I said. It's empty anyway, so I'm going to use the current scene. Um, let me real quick do a table. So, okay, um, I cut this out. So, this is, you know, my basic table. And um, now if we, we switch the tabs to currently open. We see, because I double clicked, this one earlier before I model it. Um, this is what is where the the, the whole uh, script is pointing at. Um, at this point, nothing has been written into the folders right now, except um, some XML files that are necessary for the nodes, keeping track of uh, what you've been doing. Uh, but it's still pretty much automated. Okay, I'm, and from here, I'm I'm gonna say save workshop. And give it a note, okay. Write in um, basic table, save workshop. Okay, then we have another button here, save master. And um, this is another question that gets asked a lot of times. Um, if we look at the structure, um, again, this is what happened. I saved the table and it's going, it's going to be called workshop 0001. So we have a, a sort of basic versioning system here. And as soon as I hit save master, um, just going to leave it like it is. It's just going to hit it. I might explain that in, a, in another demo, what everything in the thing means. Um, let's have a look at again at the file. So I saved a workshop and I saved the master file. So in the workshop folder, we already have a version two. And this is this is a good thing. You might say, okay, this is cluttering, you know, my workspace. Nothing has really changed between version one and version two. I know, but what's important is in this folder called table, we have a thing called uh, a file called table asset. And this is the master file. They always get called asset in the end. It's uh, the, the suffix for, um, for the master files. And the good thing about it is now I can keep working on, on my table file. And if I have changes, I'm just going to save them out to my workshop file. Maybe I'm going to do some texturing, some shading and, and, and whatnot. And I'm going to be saving it to the workshop file. And someone else in the project might be might need the basic table that I already saved. And you could say, yeah, but why doesn't he just you know, reference in uh, the workshop file? The thing is, you want your, um, your updates to be published into the pipeline. So as soon as I say, okay, this, you know, I'm, I'm done with my table, I've put in a shader or something, um, uh, new material, blend, make it a red table, and um, this, I could, I could press save now, but this would or, uh, only save a workshop file. That would be this one. I just save over the workshop file. You can also read it up here. But um, the reference files are the ones that are basically good enough to be shared by other people. The workshop files are just for yourself. and and. It gets a little. It, it takes a little time to get used to work, working like that. 
um, you know, publishing your stuff back into the system so other people could use it, or maybe um, you yourself, you could be sure that you know whatever work you do on this thing, um, it doesn't really interact with anything else in your project. Okay, um, let's open up the interface again. So currently open, um, it's the table, it's an, an asset, and right now we're in the workshop file version two, which is basically self-explanatory. Um, okay, let's go back to the asset browser, props, we have a table here. And um, I always get asked, what is the components about? And it's something you don't have to use, but maybe for some reason, um, the prop that you're working on is so complex and uh, you, you have other people working on that as well or maybe you want to get organized um, then you would say okay let's have the table and have a new component for the table maybe it's um, maybe it's a bottle just do an empty um, prop right now because I'm going to come back to that later uh, yeah, it's a bottle and maybe it's uh, a plate. And again, in our files, um, when we go to the table, it's in, in library, props, table, components, and this is grouped under uh, table, uh, you get a new folder for your, um, for your sub, basically your sub objects. You want to call it that way um, basically it's another uh, it's another little scene environment and you can put your your other stuff whatever you you're doing in there as well you could say okay uh, I want to model uh, the bottle um, I want to use a new scene say um, create a cylinder <laughs> and this is this is gonna be the bottle okay and um, let's see, save it, save a workshop, save a master file, and um, same with plate, new scene please, create cylinder. Okay, really basic, this is what's later gonna be the plate. Um, gonna hit save master, but you know I don't I don't want to put too many files on my hard disk, so I'm just gonna hit save because it's gonna save um, a workshop anyways. And it's and it opened up the workshop again, so it saved two files right now. You see, that was the plate, and it did a a workshop file, and there's a master file. And <clears throat> the cool thing about the, the whole system is that right now. You could, um, when you when you play with your references and when you build your scenes to have everything in them with references, because this is where this is aiming, um, you're going to be referencing the master files and who whoever is in the project involved. Maybe it's yourself. Maybe you're working alone. Then, um, excuse me. Um, then you could reference the master file into your main scene and even if you would work on the workshop file some some more and and maybe do some more versions of it before you say okay ooh, this is now this is the best ball I, I will ever make for this project then you could say okay submit it make a new master and at that point this file the the, the table bottle it gets rewritten and so are all files that use this table bottle as a reference would get the new version. So um, this is a really, really sweet way of keeping track of your files. So, um, but if I go back to my table and I see my components, it's still right now, you know, it's still, let me make a pause here. 